Okay. We have to talk about something that's extremely important. And some people have probably been in a discussion about this before. Some people have probably never even thought about this before. Some people might consider me a raving lunatic. But I spent, like, maybe the past eight years rubbing cancer into my face. And since I've started looking into health, I started looking at statistics. Um, and in these past 10 years, allergy rates have increased tremendously. Cancer rates have increased tremendously. Infertility rates, birth defects, birth defect rates, and especially breast cancer rates have just shot through the roof. And my grandmother had three types of cancer throughout her life. Her husband died of cancer. Her brother died of cancer. And there's cancer on my father's side of the family too. So I have cancer on all sides of my family. Deadly cancer. Most of my older relatives have died of cancer. And so I need to stop bullshitting myself and fucking around with cancer. I mean, it's not a game. It's not fun. It's not, it's not the flu. It's not, you know, a cough. It's fucking cancer. And I know I've told you guys that I'm going to start talking about the FDA and things like that in my videos, and I'm actually going to start that today because sometimes it's hard to talk about it because lots of people just think that you sound like a raving lunatic with conspiracy theories. Because the FDA is supposed to be there to protect us and to do what's good for us. And we never give it much thought. We just trust the FDA and the USDA. Well, get online and Google the people in charge of the USDA and the FDA and their previous jobs. You will find that they used to work for cosmetics companies, meat industries, dairy industries, egg industries. I mean... It's extremely messed up to the point where it turns my stomach and terrifies me. And what's the scariest part is nobody has any idea. Nobody has a clue. Before I went vegan and started looking into all this stuff, I had no idea that the system was that messed up. And now you can see it. This government, have we gotten anything done in the past 10 years? No. Because a bill gets proposed? No, no, no. Another bill gets proposed? No, no, no. Has Obama done anything? Did Bush do anything? What? I mean, I think JFK was the last president that actually got something good done. But, I mean, we can't get ourselves out of debt. We can't stop this war. We can't take care of health care. We can't take care of abortion. We can't take care of cancer. We can't take care of public education or politics or gun control. We can't take care of anything. And so clearly it's the time to stop pretending that everything is okay. And the topic of my discussion today is makeup. Makeup. We always wanted to play with it when we were kids. We watched mom put it on. Makeup. And women use on average 12 cosmetic products a day. Men use nine. And it has been proven that there are 884 toxic chemicals in cosmetics. 884 of those chemicals in makeup are toxic to the point where they cause cancer. And the FDA gets numerous complaints every year. If you actually go online and looking for it, you can find some of these records, but they're not made... They're not put in the media because that's bad business. That's terrible business. And some companies use natural ingredients, and that's awesome. However, it's like 10 times cheaper to use synthetic ingredients that can be mass-produced in bulk. And where do we put these chemicals? Directly on our skin. You wouldn't eat flame retardant fluid, right? But you'd rub it on your skin. 
Well, the skin is very absorbent. So you're rubbing chemicals directly into your bloodstream instead of putting them in your stomach. And I don't think that's much better. Um, anyway, okay, here. This, this is the law. These are labeling laws. So if you grab a piece of your makeup or whatever and you t turn on the package over and you look at the ingredients, first of all, I can guarantee you, you don't know what 80% of those are. I don't know what like 90% of them are. And you can't pronounce over half of them. Cosmetic companies are not required by law to include anything considered a trade secret. So any secret chemical that they use, that they want to be their secret ingredient. They're not required by law to put that in there. They are not required by law to um, disclose the components of any fragrances. So on the back of like, you know, a makeup or lip balm or something, it might say fragrance or... I don't know, rose fragrance or something like that. What does that mean? Uh, well, fragrances are among the top allergens in the world. And there are hundreds of chemicals per fragrance. Because nobody uses like natural essential oils. That's what I use for perfume now. I have clove, I have a spearmint, a tangerine. You know, I have essential oils that are natural. But there's this amazing documentary out there called America the Beautiful, done by a man, and he goes out and he tries to find out why women feel so ugly in America. And he interviews a chemist from um, a company that produces fragrances from perfumes to dish soap to everything. And their top chemist is interviewed on this documentary and he says that all of the ingredients are tested individually to make sure they're safe to put on skin and that they only penetrate the skin a little bit. And then he interviews a scientist from a lab, like an analyst lab in Chicago. The skin is 1 20th of an inch thick. So when something penetrates almost a little bit, it's 1 20th of an inch thick. And also, huh, perfumes use something called um, penetrative enhancers that are designed to make the chemicals penetrate deeply into your skin. And all cosmetics, almost almost all cosmetics, contain something that's ten times scarier called phthalates. And phthalates were banned by the European Union almost ten years ago. Completely banned. Because they cause cancer. They cause infertility. They cause reproductive system damage. They cause birth defects. In male babies born to mothers who use lots of phthalates, smaller penises and undescended testicles. They make tiny penises. Makeup makes tiny penises. They're toxic to your reproductive system. And, okay, in Europe, you have to go through extremely extensive testing to get a product, any kind of product, safety approved. The European Union has banned 450 product, like chemical products from being used in the production of makeup. 450. The FDA has banned six. Six. Phthalates are found in so many cosmetics these days that they're finding flame retardant fluid in breast milk. That is really fucked up. Because then you're not killing yourself, you're killing your baby. And I have a graph here that talks about lots of different chemicals or different makeup products and what they have in them. So I'm going to read some of those off. So shampoo... The average number of chemicals is 15. 15 different chemicals in your shampoo. 
The most worrying are sodium lauryl sulfate, propylene glycol, methylisothiazoline, and these side effects that they cause are neurological damage in the fetus, irritation, and possible eye damage to your baby. Hairspray. Average number of chemicals, 11. Octinoxate, isophthalates, and the possible side effects are allergies, hormone disruption linked to cancer, irritation to eyes, nose, and throat, and the change in cell structure linked to cancer. Deodorant. 32 chemicals. The most worrying is aluminum zero, zirconium and isopropyl myristate. Possible side effects, organ irritation and hormone disruption linked to cancer. Eyeshadow, 26 chemicals. The most worrying, polythylene terephthalate. Possible side effect, um, infertility, hormone disruptions linked to cancer, and damage to the body's organs. Lipstick, 33 chemicals. Most worrying, polymethyl methacrylate. Possible side effects, allergies linked to causing cancer. Aller no, allergies and um, it's linked to causing cancer. Blush, 16 chemicals, most worrying, ethyl parabens, methyl paraben, and polyparaben. Rash irritation and hormone disruption linked to cancer. Foundation, 24 chemicals, most worrying, polymethyl methacrylate. Possible side effects, disrupts the immune system linked to cancer, allergies, and perfume, 250 chemicals, the most worrying, benzaldehyde and toluene, sperm damage that can link to fetal disruption. It's linked to cancer, an organ irritate, irritant, and hormone disruption that's linked to, can to cancer. Body lotion, 32 chemicals, most worrying, methylparaben, polyparaben, polyethylene glycol, also found in household cleaners. Possible side effects, rash, irritation, and hormone disruption linked to cancer. Fake tan, 22 chemicals, most worrying, ethylparaben, methylparaben, polyparaben, linked side effects, rashes, irritation, and hormone disruption linked to cancer. Nail polish, 31 chemicals, the most worrying are phthalates. Possible side effects linked to hormone disruption causing cancer, fertility issues, and problems in developing babies. The National Cosmetology Association gives out more than 1 million cosmetics and personal care products each year to about 30,000 breast cancer patients. What the fuck is that all about? Get online and do your own research. And you know what? I would not have taken the time to make this video if I just wanted to be a ranting lunatic. But I don't like watching people die of cancer. I watched my grandmother wither away and go from a tall, heavyset woman to this sickly, twisted little stick of a creature. She just broke and died and faded away. She beat cancer twice, and then the third time around, it killed her. It killed her husband. It killed her brother. Someday it could kill my mom or my aunt, and someday it could kill me. So I'd like to increase my chances as much as possible by not rubbing cancer in my face and on my skin. And I would never want to give any of my... I mean, I don't have kids, but I would never want to give my baby cancer. Or feed it flame retardant fluid through my own breast milk. People don't think about these things when they go about their daily lives. But maybe it's time that somebody starts. So I'm sorry if this video is sappy, and I'm sorry if it makes me sound like a lunatic, but I really don't want to watch anybody rub cancer in their face anymore, and I don't want to watch people fade away and crumble into nothing, because cancer is ripping them to pieces. Cancer is kind of a shitty thing. So I really encourage you guys to do your own research on this. And it's scary, but I hope you all get something out of this. Bye.